the night I think someone was in my house. The night this happened was one of those nights. I sat in bed watching a show and fell asleep around 8 p.m. and woke up just after 2 p.m. I have a hard time sleeping at night, so when I do, it's usually at odd times. Because I'd fallen asleep so early, I had not locked my patio door after I'd come in earlier that evening. For relevance, I sleep in the basement because the family room down there has a room with no windows and I like it to be completely dark and cool in my sleeping environment, so I made that my bedroom. I could sleep upstairs but the light of the neighborhood bothers me so much and I can't sleep at all. I couldn't get back to sleep after I'd woken up so I decided to just look at things on my phone and that's when I heard something step onto the stairs leading to the basement. It was one of those things that where you think you hear something so specific and then nothing happens and it's quiet. My stairs have a very unique sound and you can't walk down them to the basement without having them make that distinctive noise. I quickly turned off my phone as I sat there in my bed in silence, listening, straining to hear anything at all. I could hear it with the soft hum of a chest freezer I kept in the basement. After a few minutes, I, I went back to looking at my phone. That's when I heard it again. A slight wooden creak as someone stepped onto the second stair to the basement. This made me sit up quick because I couldn't be hearing it twice, I thought. Someone must be there, on the stairs, coming down them. I don't know if they heard me moving on my bed or not, but it was quiet again and I heard nothing but the freezer once again for the longest time. I looked around in the dark, turning my phone's flashlight on to try to see if there was something I could use as a weapon to fight whoever it was, if it even was someone coming down the stairs. I didn't even think to call anyone else because they would have easily heard me talking in the quiet of the night. As I looked around beside my bed, the stairs creaked and I heard someone now slowly walking down them, stepping on the landing between the two stairwells. It was obvious someone heavy was walking down the stairs, as a the noise they made was louder as their footwear made soft footsteps, but the wooden stairs creaked heavily after landing on the step, stretching under the weight and making that unmistakable creaking sound when someone walks down the stairs. They got to the landing and stopped, as if they too were listening. Minutes passed, or hours, I don't know, I can't recall. All I know is that I was sitting there with my heart beating so loud and fast that anyone could have heard it. The footsteps started again, down the second set of steps, my bed was against the wall and the bedroom door was at the bottom of the stairs. I didn't even have a door, never thinking I'd need to lock it or keep anyone out. But tonight, I wish with everything in me, I did have a door and I had locked it. All I had was a curtain separating my room from the basement hallway. The footsteps continued down the stairs and I sat on my bed staring at my curtain in fear, completely paralyzed. Whoever it was had reached the bottom of the stairs and was standing there, completely silent. Just on the other side of the curtain separating my room from the basement hall, I don't know how long I sat there, listening, straining my ears to hear any noise at all, but I never heard anything again. There was no movement, no noise, no breathing, not even a shuffling of someone standing there. Eventually, I think my body took over and I just passed out from some type of adrenaline overload. Maybe the fear just overtook me, I don't know. Eventually, I woke up again and proceeded to turn on the lamp in my room and I immediately grabbed and looked at my phone, which displayed that it was midday. I looked around the room and my body froze. The curtain to the hallway was completely open, but as I looked around the room, nothing was moved or missing. So I cautiously walked out of the room. I walked up the stairs into the bright light shining through the windows and that's when I saw the patio door to my deck was wide open. Nothing strange has ever happened like that since. But I do sleep with a gun next to my bed now. <laughs>